Hi guys, it's Wraith here. Most of you know me simply from the Dragon's Reign and Empire of Stars podcast. But did you know that these podcasts are based on written stories that you can actually read on my site, WraithRain.com? So I thought we would do a little deep dive into one of the genres I write in, namely shifters. Now, every story I write has magic in it and some paranormal elements. That's as true in the shifter section as the one for vampires or elves. Now, let's head over to the Wraith Rain Library, where all of my stories are sorted and arranged by what type of story it is. As I said, we're going to look at the shifters category. All you need to do is click the tile, and all the stories I've written with shifters in them come up for you to see. And as you can see, we have a bunch of shifter stories in the library, with Dragon's Rain being included. But since you already know Dragon's Rain, let's check out another serial. Tidebound. Click on the Read More button and it will take you to the beginning of the story. Now, this serial is all about mermen and is part of a huge universe I've written in, but you can read Tidebound without any knowledge of any of the other works. In Tidebound, an arranged marriage between polar opposites must take place. Mare Lord Elric Silver hates humans, dry land, and Meryl Bexies, a.k.a. Bex. But in order to save his people from the monsters in the Sundering Deep, he must marry the mortal-loving Mare Bex. For his part, Bex cannot stand the arrogant and cold Elric and wants nothing to do with the cutthroat Mare Royal Society. But in order to save his parents from an immortal lifetime in prison, Bex must join his life to the Mare Lords. Our house artist, Mathia Arconiel, did an exquisite illustration of each of the parties to our main couple. If you click on the illustration for Meryl Bex Bexies on the left-hand column, you will see him in various looks, clothes, and, uh um, sans clothes, plus some lovely sketches of his face. We also get to learn something about Bex. I try and write a summary here that gives you a flavor of the characters. In Bex's case, his personality is loyal, affectionate, warm, and he's very family-oriented. He loves the land and the sea. Now that humanity knows that mares are real, he wants to reveal himself to his human friends. But his home is shrouded in more secrets than him simply being a human. Now, Tidebound, like I mentioned, is actually part of a larger universe that I'm writing in called the Sea Universe. You don't have to have read anything else to enjoy Tidebound, as I said, but there's tons of interesting info and Easter eggs if you do read the other stories. So, how do you know this story is part of a larger universe? Well, let's go to the reading guide. Now, click on the Sea Universe, and you can see which story you should start reading first if you want to know everything. Each are just a click away. Want to find out more about Bex and Elric? Like most of the stories on Wraith Rain, you can check out the first five chapters for free. Details down below.